Yeah. Yes, we are here. Hey, everybody. I hope we have some people that will log on tonight. I'm here at Specs in the City with Sandy Key, owner of Sandy's Boutique. And we're going to start doing a show really quick right here. And Sandy, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> I was right. very honored. Yes. Okay, so we'll start here. Hey guys, it's your crazy ray of sunshine. You're rolling in. See, this is Shell, and I'm the mouth on the mic of Hitting the Streets podcast show. Today, I am located at Specs in the City, downtown Sherman in Kelly Square, and I have the lovely Sandy Key here tonight on the show. Sandy Key is a business owner here. She owns Sandy Boutique. So, please, Sandy, introduce yourself. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I am Sandy Key. I am, like Shell just said, I am located in Kelly Square, I'm on 15 South Travis in downtown Sherman. I have four boys. I live in Sherman and yeah. have been here since grade school. So, <laughs> this is definitely my home. So, see, how long have you been this business? How long have you had your boutique? It'll be 14 years in November. Wow, yeah. 14 years. So, tell me, what... Um, drawn you into entrepreneurship? What made you decide to start this business? Well, it's funny. Actually, as a child, when I used to play, everybody else played school and teacher, I was a business owner. And I had a boutique. And I was either going to have a boutique or I was going to have a salon or I was going to own something, for sure. But along those lines. So. Wow, so you started you yes. at a young age. I did. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you had your Barbie dolls all set up doing oh, the fashion yes, stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Except for me, I had the fashionista, and then I also had my Hot Wheel cars. <laughs> oh no, I was definitely the girly girl. <laughs> okay, so tell me something. Um, you know, own this boutique. So what has been balls. your satisfying, or most satisfying moment, or have you had satisfying moments? Yes, I have had so many. Of yeah, probably the most fun is when I go to home hospice luncheons, or I oh. go. And like all kinds of different or. places, yeah. and I see people wearing the clothes that they bought oh, at my store. Yeah. The oh, friendships that I've made, I mean, some of these women are like family. They support me. They support the downtown. They're fabulous. And you, I was just met say, so many people. You, I was going to say, I met um, I met Sandy through Sherman Service League, and that's, God, 20 years ago? It was 20, 20 years, years ago. ago. <laughs> And so I've been knowing her that long, and I know you, your shop has been here for 14 years. Oh, you, you weren't anywhere else. You've always been here. Always been here. I worked for Wrangler's yes, okay, in downtown Denison. That's kind of where I was. He, he actually hired me to take on his store when he retired. Oh, wow. But after I, I had been there for about four years, I just realized I really needed to be located in Sherman. I was on every Sherman PTA, Sherman Service Lady. Yes, I was going to say, guys, Sandy does a lot of, of volunteer work here um, in Sherman. Um, just like I said, she was a part of the Sherman Service League, but she does a lot for our community, too, as well. So tell me, um, what has been the challenges that you had? You know... I was going to say we're coming out of COVID, but not really. We're, we feel like we're back into this <laughs> pandemic again. But how have you overcome challenges and obstacles of owning your own business? Well, um, starting out working at Ringler's, I met so many incredible people that actually followed me here. And that is why I named my boutique Sandy's Boutique. Uh -huh. So people would go, oh, I wonder if that's Sandy that worked at Ringler's. Uh -huh. And so that's why I don't have any catchy little names <laughs> in my boutique. It's just Sandy's Boutique. But anyway, so I kind of got started there and people kind of followed me over here. And so, like I said, I opened up in 07. And then the stock market kind of crashed in 08. Oh, gosh. Yep, yep. And I made it through that because, come to find out, women still want new clothes and new purse and new jewelry, <laughs> even if the stock market crashes. So She's talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> so I made it through 08. And then I unexpectedly got pregnant. Surprise, baby number four. <laughs> and so that was a, that was a, like, oh, okay, I can still run a business yeah. at number four, baby. <laughs> And then COVID hit, and I was like, I, I'm not letting COVID. I survived many other things. And Amen to that. Because I've been in business for so long and had so many amazing customers, um, we just changed. I just changed perspective. I did a lot of deliveries, a lot of shipping, really? a lot of calling, did live feeds. Yeah. 
So you, just, you had a curbside delivery, or you mm -hmm. little just delivered to home? Both. You delivered to the house yes, too. I, Good for you. I still delivered. Oh, you house still house delivered. Y'all make notes. Yes. Make notes. She yes. was delivered to your house. Okay, yes. real quick. I have this popped up in my head. Do you have like an online? Do you can you buy online? Or? Yeah, actually, no. I have a website, but I never actually let it go live, only because I am one of those old tiny boutiques that only buy one of each size. Oh, so there's not really okay. anything, because as soon as I would post an article of clothing, then someone walks in and buys the small. And so I, everybody just kind of likes that they don't have, they don't see themselves walking around. So it's kind of hard to do a website, but I do Facebook and uh, people call up at the store. I post pictures, live feeds. So. Well, I have to say that I, I, I mean, I'm going to say this. I appreciate you. I'm, I'm going to catch flack for this, but I don't care. <laughs> I appreciate you still being a store that I can walk into, try on some clothes, talk to you, talk to a person, and not have to do self checkout or order online and I get the wrong size or it don't fit me right and I gotta send it back. Yeah. So I'm gonna say thank you for still having that piece of customer service still left because I'm gonna tell you right now and I know what like, but I cannot stand those self checkouts. No. Cannot, absolutely not. No. It is good to still talk <laughs> yes. to a human, especially now during this day and age with this pandemic, everything is being so pushed to be online yes. and people are being are not connected they're disconnected it's hard to have a social life right now yes. because of, of, of all that's going on and i know i'm on my soapbox and i don't care i don't care <laughs> i just have to say thank you cindy for still being one of those places where i can go in look at clothes touch feel and talk to people and, and be able to shop. Yes. So I thank you so much for You're being welcome. here. You're welcome. And I also do free gift wrapping. So oh. it's totally beautiful. You can come in and you can get your baby gift and it's wrapped free in a, in a box with real wrapping. You can make for your Christmas gift, anniversary gift, birthday gift. It's wrapped and out the door. Wow. For okay. Free. I was going to say really quick, <laughs> and all these questions are popping up. Tell the audience about your shop because guys she's just not a um a boutique for women she has baby clothes she has candles she has these um i know it's a food product but kind of explain a little bit about your shop okay. what's all in there um i have obviously women's clothing i have women's shoes um i have brighton jewelry i have another a couple of other jewelry lines i carry brighton purses um hobo handbags i have a lot of bath products hand soaps um lotions I have Tyler candles, and then I have a gift section as well. In the gift section, I have charcuterie boards. I have um, really cute uh, dip mixes, dip bowls, cake bowls, um, and some of the dip mixes that I carry are from the Wind and Willow, okay. and they are fabulous. There's soups. There's just yeah, the really dip. good line. Of I've had the soups and I've had yeah. the dips, and then you have a lot of my favorites. I have not tried the candles just yet, but I have. They're fabulous. I have shopped there, guys, for like a baby gift, and I have shopped there also to buy clothes for myself. But there's a, a pair of pants that I actually my favorite. Those those white pants with the lace on the bottom of them. Yes. So they're just like the best. <laughs> well, and for everybody out there, the Times Fraser Fur just came in. I only carry it September through December every year, and everybody always looking for it. I love it. But then I also have baby clothes. Yeah. And I go from birth all the way up to age five, usually, Good sometimes a little bit older, um, but a little bit of everything. I have books, I have um, swaddles, um, all oh. kinds of things for babies. Yeah. So this just, it's, a, it's more than just a boutique, guys, and so you please stop in if you can. So I have um, another question, though. What advice would you give someone that's wanting to start you know, in either in a boutique business or just start a business, what advice would you would you give to them? Just start up in a community that you grew up in. That definitely helps because knowing people and getting to know people is really the key. Because if you have that customer service, people will continue to come back. They will over and over again, and they will be consistent. Um, but if you just try to start up in a brand new place, it would be I would think would be very hard. Location is very key. And yes, um, those are probably the main things. All right. <laughs> so location is key and, and keeping it local, local supporting local is always yes. the key. Yes. All right, so I have one more question before we before we wrap up. What are you most grateful for, Sandy? I am most grateful 
for the many, 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 many customers that have just literally shopped with me for the 14 years that I've been a business and through, um, through births, through deaths, through everything, and I have just, I have met some of the most amazing people that I will never, ever, ever forget. She has a great following, guys. So, I, really quick, tell us how we can find you. Give us your social media deeds and then tell us your location. And if you have any events coming up, let us know. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the, uh, my Halloween party in October, um, I serve chocolate martinis for that. And it is on Tuesday, and I wasn't prepared, to, so I can't remember the exact date, but be looking on my Sandy's Boutique Facebook page, because that's where I usually post everything. And then at my Christmas party in December, I have uh, peppermint martinis. And um, the Stokes Extravaganza is coming up oh, November great. the 4th. I will be out there. This will be my... 10th year, well, ever since she started at her location. Wow, okay. So, yeah. All right, well, I appreciate you being on the show, guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Sandy. Guys, make sure you follow her page at Sandy's Boutique on Facebook. And please find her at Kelly uh, Kelly Square. Yes. She is located there in downtown Sherman. Thanks again, Sandy, for being on the show. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye, everybody. This is Shell, and I am out of here. Thank you.